In SharePoint lists and libraries, there's usually this one field that you see which has the link that if you click on it, it shows the record for that list or library. And for that same link over here, that same link field, there's also the context menu that appears down here. Now the question over here becomes, how do I have a different field, for example, first name instead of last name in this case, or for that matter, business phone or home phone or something else, have the actual link to the record, and also maybe the context menu, the drop down. How do I make the other fields have that behavior instead of the last name field? So I'm going to show you how you can do that for the first name field in this scenario, and also what is a way to remove it from the last name so the context menu and the link do not appear. Now I'm going to go to SharePoint Designer. Within SharePoint Designer I already have this list open. Now if you're not familiar how to do that you can simply go to the actual list, go to list tab and you can click on this button right here which says edit list in SharePoint Designer and this is how you would end up with SharePoint Designer 2010 open with a view to this list. So what I'm going to do is go to the first name column here and click on any of the first names here Asif which is my name or Tim. Let me click on Tim and this arrow that appears I can click on this and look at the options that are provided to me the first option is show list item menu. Same thing as saying show the context item menu. Let's go ahead and click on this. I'm going to go back to that again. Either Tim or Asif. And once this arrow appears again, I'll click this time show link to item. So the first one was for the context item menu. The second one is to enable the link. Let's see what this did. Save. I'll go back there now. Refresh this page. And there you go. Tim, Asif, both have context menus. And if I click on a record like Tim, it shows me the actual record in the uh, view form. Now, how do you remove it from last name? You would think that if you go back to the last name here you can click on it and the arrow the arrow should appear and you can uncheck those check boxes that you checked uh, for the first name but that's not the case because the last name field here works differently the way it's defined it already has inherently the context item menu and the link on this record so instead of doing that what you could do is go to you can modify the view so you can go to the actual view that's being shown right now and you'll see that the last name field that's being shown right now automatically has the linked to item with edit menu feature that's how it was defined and you can't undefine it so you can check this off now the good thing about last name field and many other fields like it is that there's another field that has that's also for last name uh, but it doesn't have the context menu or the link to the actual field. I'm gonna go ahead and select this change the ordering for this so it appears at the top two let's do that so first name is gonna be first and then it's gonna be last name that's fine I'll click OK here and there you go. Now it's showing up the last name here, right after the first name. It does not have a drop down context menu and it is not linked to the actual record. Only the first name is linked and only the first name has the drop down menu. So you learn how you can change the context menu and the link for a field, from one field to a different field. You can use the same manner to have the, uh, the context menu and the item link appear on a different field as well.